is the operations manager at the Calgary Emergency Management Agency, also as SEMA. She has responded to the following disasters, 2016 Fort McMurray wildfire, 2013 Alberta floods, and 2011 Slave Lake wildfire. She's also let me know that her, um, she forgot to put in her Twitter um, handle, so her Twitter handle is at H-A-R-R-I-S underscore L-M. That's at Harris underscore L-M. Ladies and gentlemen, Laura Harris. Snow Temper was another event that was absolutely crazy. 
No one expected to have so much snow before the, uh, the solstice. This was an interesting event for us because, again, you'd think the responders would be fire, police, EMS. It was parks. How do you work with an organization that is aware of how to respond to an event? Please, this is my shout out to all of you, don't be these people. <laughs> do not, under any circumstances, drive through water. This is what's taking first responders away from doing that critical job they need to do. It's rescuing these people. If these are your cars, I apologize. I will point you out. And the recent example, the Fort McMurray wildfires. An incredible amount of impact. Community burnt. Mass evacuation of the entire community. How do you address this? What we ended up doing it's, we had mass evacuation, and I can only imagine, what would you take? Ironically, people were taking their prized watermelon out of their fridge. <laughs> if I were those people in that car, I would be wishing for another pair of clean underwear, because I probably would have soiled the one as a private car. <laughs> so, just be cognizant of, be no, uh, sorry, of know what to take and what you want to be prepared. We had, in Calgary, 2,400 evacuees descend on us. We couldn't understand why the highest amount out of every community out there in Alberta. They drove nine hours to get here, 2,400 people, predominantly Muslim, and we had just moved into Halal, uh, and uh, their ethnic religion. Also dealing with my staff who were up in Fort McMurray, with the air quality index, the high, the extreme high was 10. My staff were dealing with 39. How do you reassure them that they're going to be okay, that they will be healthy? Again, I had a, my uh, emergency social services members. They came and were looking after the 2,400 evacuees. They were asked one day to go check in on a cat, an orange cat, and this is what they found. <laughs> so how do you communicate with your staff who are deathly afraid of snakes when they just popped open the lid because they didn't actually see that it was clear? <laughs> Again, I go back to the piece, it's how do you communicate with people to tell them that they have a community to go back to, but there may be nothing there. They may not have a home to go to. Their friends may not have a home to go to. How do you communicate that? My message to all of you is please ensure that you are prepared for an event. Please ensure you have those things, those critical things that you need. Please ensure that you've got some place to go, your family has some place to go, you take your important documents, you take your pets. Thank you.